Water is very much the lifeblood of New Zealand in many ways. Lakes perform a number of economic, social and environmental services. They might be environmental outcomes such as the survival of fish and um, some of the fauna that live in lakes. They might also be some of the cultural functions of lakes, particularly for iwi, and also in terms of recreation. You know, much of New Zealand's recreation is, is built around, uh, around the health of our, our lakes. Over the last uh, 10 years, we've built up, a, a, I think, a pretty good team and have been able to work with a lot of the uh, end users, um, including iwi, regional councils, local councils, and actually implement a lot of the um, potential ideas and transition them from research through to actual implementation. And so we've had a number of successes. Many of those successes relate to the Rotorua Lakes but also just simply working with councils and, and Department of Conservation and others to bring about some of the changes that can potentially improve lake ecosystems. In the seven years I've been with the program, there's been a really significant transformation of water quality. Those are the things that the community are really interested in. They want clear water and they want, um, they want a lack of algal blooms in the, in the summer and autumn periods. The future for, I think, the whole program is to start taking advantage of what we've learnt around the lakes and expanding that to our region. And this aligns with really where the government's expecting regional councils to go in terms of protecting water quality with their um, national policy statement for fresh water. I think that collaboration and working together with the end users is really important. Uh, research um, without having that management focus from, for a management a um, agency is interesting, but we need those researchers to be working on work that is relevant to us. Um, we don't have a huge research budget for Peacefish, uh, and so being able to use what we do have in conjunction with LEARNS has been really useful. The sort of positive feedback we've had has gone through a variety of levels and, and at the very base level it's been essentially about people who live around the lake. And then as you move up it's gone right through to Ministry for the Environment where we've had significant uh, input into the freshwater reforms that have been taking, taking place over the last two or three years. You know, sometimes it takes two or three or four years to really develop relationships with, not just with the researchers, but also with councils and with DOC and with Iwi. And, and you want to know that you've got some longevity to those relationships. Um, some of the outcomes have, have taken five, six years in some cases to really come to fruition. We've learned a lot along the way. We've learned some hard lessons, but we've learned some, also some excellent lessons about what, what really works.